Hey everybody, this is Dave Bensman with Bensman Home Computer Repair, and today I'd like to talk about desktop icons. I'd like to show you how to put four desktop icons, or four icons on your desktop, that'll improve uh, your productivity with Windows. And those icons are computer, control panel, your user files, and recycle bin. And I'm going to show you how you can put those on your desktop easily so things are a lot uh, <clears throat> easier to to find on your on your computer and this all of this obviously is going to be true of Windows 10 it's a bit different for older operating systems but basically if you want to put those icons on your desktop all you've got to do is right click on the desktop and then that'll open up this drop down menu and you're going to select personalize you're going to put your cursor over personalize you're going to left click then on the left side of the uh, screen where it says themes you're going to left click and then on the right side of the screen where it says desktop icon settings, you're going to left click. Now you see this little uh, window right here. I'm going to move it over here so it's easier to see. You see this little window over here pops up and you have these desktop icons right here. And anyone that you want to put on your computer, all you have to do is put a check in the box by left clicking. So I'm going to put down computer, user files, recycle bin and control panel and usually if you've got down here on your right you've got your uh, Wi-Fi setting so it's easy to get in to get into your network stuff all you have to do is right click down on the lower right hand corner here and you can get to network uh, and internet settings so I generally don't put network on the desktop but after you put the checks in these boxes up here then all you got to do is click apply, click OK, X out of everything, and then I usually like to arrange them with this PC on top, and then under that I put my user files, and then under that I like to put control panel, and then under that I like to put recycle bin, because those are very commonly used uh, icons that can really help you out, and let's talk about how they can do that right here under this PC. If I double click on it, these are all my drives. So I've got my D drive, my C drive, that's my internal hard drive. And if I were to add a, 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 a USB thumb drive, it would show up there as well. And it allows me to access those drives and get to whatever folder I want to get to. Because it basically when you open up uh, this PC, you're, you're essentially you're in uh, Windows Explorer, which allows you access to your whole file system. Boom, the uh, personal folder, which I've named Boomstick, uh, basically that's all your personal stuff, your documents, your downloads, your videos, your pictures, so that's very handy to have, and once again it opens up Windows Explorer when you double click on that. And then there's Control Panel, and Control Panel is very handy because it allows you to change uh, all the settings on your computer. So if you wanted to go to Network and Sharing Center, you could left click on that and you'd be in there. If you wanted to go and check out a printer to see if it was recognized or not, you could click on Devices and Printers. And these are all left clicks, obviously. And if you wanted to uh, check out Internet options because you wanted to delete your history, you could do that by left clicking on Internet options and control panels. So a lot of very handy stuff here. Very important to have that on the desktop. And then the last thing is your recycle bin, and that's where you can drag things uh, to basically get them, you know, to, if things that you didn't want anymore, you could throw in the recycle bin. You could also restore them if you decided you did want them. So that's very handy and helpful to have. So that's, those are four icons that you really want on your desktop, and that's how to get them there. And there's another reason I like this PC to be on my desktop, and that is if there's anything wrong with the computer, all I have to do is right click on this PC, and then go down the drop down menu till it says properties, and left click on properties. That's gonna open up uh, the system uh, window, and that'll tell me what operating system version I'm using, what processor version I'm using, how much memory I've got, etc., etc. And it will also allow me, if I click on Device Manager in the upper left here, if I left-click on that, 
then it will open up device manager which will show me if there are ever any uh, what they call conflicts or problems with drivers in my computer so if I'm not hearing any sound after checking a variety of things one of the things I want, might want to check is if there's a conflict on my uh, sound driver which would be right here sound video and game controllers uh, and if right now if it looks like this I'm pretty sure everything at least with the drivers is a-okay so that's why you want those four icons on your desktop and that's how to get them remember once again you're right clicking on the desktop clicking on personalize with your left mouse button on the left side clicking left clicking on themes and on the right side left clicking on desktop icon settings you put the checks in the boxes here and then you click apply and OK. Thank you for watching this video. I hope the tutorial on how to use your Windows more effectively was of some help. I'll be doing more tutorials in the future. Please like and subscribe uh, to my channel. And uh, that's Dave Bensman from Bensman Home Computer Repair. Thank you very much.